visual on their ship. This is organized crime. Mexico narco traffickers call Totoaba the cocaine of the sea. The fishing of the Totoaba by Chinese traffickers and Mexican cartels is killing a vaquita. The vaquita is getting extinct. There were 100, and then there were 60. And now there's fewer than 30. Come on, sweetie. Come on, mama. To stop the killing of the vaquita, we have to take down those traffickers. The whole thing stinks. It is corruption all the way. Who is the Chapo of the Totoaba? Vaquita are the smallest marine mammal um, the, currently on the planet, and they are the most endangered marine mammal. They only live in the northern Gulf of California, which is also known as the Sea of Cortez, and we know very little about them. But what we do know is that there are currently only 15 vaquitas left on the planet. Andrea was telling me about it, um, you know, that there was this investigation he was following in Mexico about these two species, um, Totoaba and Vaquita, that are, you know, going extinct because of crime and everything. And I was like, hold it right there, could you repeat that again? Because I, I'd never even heard about these two animals ever before. I couldn't even pronounce them. So I was like, um, okay, but um, so what's the bigger story? Uh, what's happening? And then he said, well, look at it closely because this is what's happening with our planet today. You know, this is organized crime attacking planet Earth feeding of it, making millions of dollars for money and greed, and it's causing the destruction of an ocean. This is it. This is why vaquitas are dying. This is why a lot of species from the upper Gulf of California are endangered. This is what is fueling the entire operation. Yeah, the cocaine of the sea, uh, we actually, in our organization, we also call it fake gold, because once it's dried, you know, it's, it's goldish. It's actually the swim bladder of a fish, of a big sea bass called Totoaba. This fish lives only in the Sea of Cortez, so like the vaquita, you know, the purpose. Totoaba is actually very similar to um, a fish that got extinct in China, Boha Bohaba, and it's considered, you know, the top of the top, you know, very expensive. Uh, in, in particular, the Totoaba, according to the traditional Chinese medicine, uh, they think it's particularly good for pregnant women, for example. It is very, very expensive um, because if in, in Mexico, um, you know, fishermen receive around $4,000, $5,000 per, per fish, per, per swim bladder, um, in China, you easily get to 35, 30, 40, 50. We even film, uh, filmed uh, undercover Totoaba for $100,000 a piece. So it's uh, not surprisingly, with all this money to be made, uh, uh, organized crime and mafia and jumping because it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for a criminal organization. All right, Navy's in pursuit. There's an inherent danger of doing what we do. We know that we're going out to risk our lives, and that's sort of the point. If we say that we're going to go risk our lives and stand in front of an illegal black market and an exploitive industry, reality of it is we do it because it needs to be done. And people worry about our safety the entire time, but we have that covered. We take our precautions where necessary. Our entire boat is covered in barbed wire, and there's a net to keep the Molotov cocktails off. Don't worry about our safety, worry about if we fail. We saw with our own eyes all those illegal pangas escaped. Back here, like a safe haven for Totoaba poachers. But the safe haven is also full of police and Marines, so you don't understand why they're here, what they're doing here. It smells, it's, it, the whole thing stinks. Dealing with the Mexican drug cartels is no easy thing. It's like, um, they're very unpredictable, very dangerous, kill people 
very fast kidnap people you know there's whole ransom things going on all the time so it's um it's also the most dangerous country for journalists in the world carlos loret for example he's uh he's gotten a lot of death threats um especially in recent months and now that the film is going to come out it's going to get even worse so yes it is dangerous but we believe that action is necessary we're willing to stand up to the fight because you know we we need to change this 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 world and everybody needs to do their part every single animal here matters for every single animal everywhere else in the ocean oh check out these lads <laughs> It's all so incredibly intertwined. Oh, that's fantastic. I think that this movie will actually inspire you into action once you see it, because you will see people who have, who are right now risking their lives to save the planet from evil, from destruction, from cartels, and you know, all these people that are just out there to destroy our beautiful nature. And these people are, are incredible. They're like my heroes. And I think that if they get the spotlight that they deserve, you know, if they go out there and, and people find out about them, I hope that others are inspired. We just need everybody to join the fight and get involved and not tolerate the way that we're currently living on this planet and, and decide to do better. And everybody can do just a little something different. It doesn't matter where you live or what you do, you can make those decisions and really have an impact. You just have to figure out what is your role in this going to be. We won't stop.